Hey guys, before we get started today, I just want to take a very brief moment of silence for one of our lost family members named Lucy Smith, aka Maddox Rain from State 511. Guys, um, it's a sad, sad day. I've seen several losses from the members that play Last Shot to Survival. And I want my platform to be much more than just information. I want it to be a platform of togetherness. And it is my pleasure and my sadness to say that we've lost yet another family member. Um, rest in peace, Lucy. I, I want you and your family. I don't even know how to say this, guys. I just, my heart saddens. She passed away from cardiac arrest. It actually hits me really hard, man. And and I've gone through my own losses, if you know Ace of Spades. And the fact is, your last shelter survival family loves you. Triple Hawks Gaming loves you. And believe me, your state would not have reached out to me if you were not all important. I hope your family sees this one way or the other. And I hope they understand just how important you were, not only to the world, but to the game. So thank you for everything. We'll take a few seconds out. All right, guys, um, let's try to get into the information. And with a heavy heart, I say, again, rest in peace, Maddox Rain, State 511. All right, all right, guys, this is Acer of Spades, Team BLA, State 268. We are number one, title of the video, NAP, Safe Zones, and the Unspoken Rules. So, it has been requested uh, that I do a video on NAP many, many times in the past. Today's that day. So this should be a very good video for everyone, but even especially for the newer states. As usual, I invite my viewers to comment in the comment section below. Critique me, correct me, and add any input that you find relevant to help everyone else. Let's go ahead and get started. Why these things even exist, right? So an NAP is an acronym that stands for Non-Aggressional Pact. States establish NAP or safe zones to prevent one of the worst fates that any state could possibly face, and that is called a dead state. So a dead state simply uh, excuse me, represents a state that has a lower player population due to a multitude of factors, but the most common include, but are not limited to, bullying, dictatorship, lack of knowledge slash training, and of course, loss of desire to play. So, to prevent a dead state status, states establish a ceasefire either from the entire state, part of the state, or an area of the state. So let's go over the most common and popular ways and how they work. So the first one is NAP 15. At the start of your journey playing Last Shelter, you will build your base. Uh, basically start talking in state chat and join an alliance and you're pretty much not sure how everything's going to go but I estimate and I'm not really sure about this guys I estimate that uh, states hold about 50 alliances of 100 players or about 5,000 players to start NAP 15 means players in the top 15 alliances do not engage in combat against one another Establish alliances with great leadership. They form chat rooms and leadership roles to manage these players uh, and the player-made rules. So to help the state grow, after numerous months and attacks, the idea is to grow 15 strong alliances that crush COZ and Doomsday together. This rarely happens exactly this way, but it is a very important idea to keep in mind. Side note, guys, if you're not sure exactly how to pick solid leadership or you just do not understand the different leadership roles or what they should be doing. I have an alliance leadership role video. I'll put that in the description below, and this way you guys can uh, understand all the R categories and the four major R4 roles. So next is NAP 10. Um, guys, it's just like 15, except it's the top 10. Nothing to add. And then finally, full in state NAP, which my state of 268 is, meaning the entire state uh, those following the rules, which is just about everybody, 99% of us, we don't attack each other at all. Now, the last one that we need to discuss in this regard is some states establish what we call safe zones. Safe zones are areas on the map, which you can just quickly zoom out and look at it. You got different colors. You got light green, dark green, the mud over there in the middle, and the 
dead desert or the sand area. Okay, some people actually establish a safe zone in one of these areas or multiple where you don't get des only battles that happen in the desert, for instance, or only the dark green area surrounding the launch center is safe for anyone to go to. All four types mentioned are designed to prevent a dead state and bring players together. So what should you choose? What is the best and most effective way? So here's what I recommend. I would never suggest that any state set up safe zones. This is a game very much like real life, guys. And in order for a state to do well, you cannot harbor people not trying to grow. See, a safe zone means that people can log on once per week if they want, never donate, never contribute, watch the state lose day in and day out, and make it worse for players trying to grow, and literally sit there and do absolutely nothing. See, the game, in fact, is actually a big competition, and participation is a mandatory key for success. Safe zones do not require effort, and in my opinion, they reduce the potential of high-level gameplay. So personally, I would suggest never do it. What I do personally believe in and suggest is a reduction in AP, meaning in AP 15 to in AP 10 to in AP whole state approach. Some people will quit the game regardless, guys, because, well, they just want to focus on real life or any of the four major reasons mentioned before. People who want to grow should not be hindered from the access to those dormant bases. NAP allows access for farming. The most successful states I know go down the top five or 10 and then build from there when their migration opens up. At that point, and uh, hopefully way before Doomsday even starts, I recommend a whole state NAP so that the entire state can work together and kick all the challenging states butts in COZ, Doomsday, and get rid of them entirely. So this freedom and then unity can bring the worst situations full circle and turn them into the best situations by working together. The final truth is I cannot and nor can you stop anyone from bullying or being a dictator. The only chance for a real change is knowledge. Helping these people understand the truth and that truth is simply that the more populated state with excellent players wins. The state with only 100 great members and a dictator that leads that alliance, they lose in the long run. It's simple. Now, the last thing I want to bring up that I always thought was really cool were the unspoken, the unforgettable things. These are the things that we establish outside of NAP, such as while you're gathering on gathering day, you don't attack enemy plots, even if you're visiting that state. It's unsportsmanlike conduct. It's something that we simply don't do. I've talked about this in a very, very old a, uh, KE video. I've actually done that in the past, and I've learned way better since then. Everybody deserves a chance to do their KE. And I'm not saying that it's not part of the game to go ahead and hit them, guys. But truthfully, the fact is, I'm not going to come to your state and hit you while you're gathering. Uh, now, I'll hit your main base if you didn't shield. But I'm not going to hit your gathering units. I personally, just as a quick example... I spread my units out, and sometimes they're completely in the wrong order. Like, I'll have, well, actually, they're almost decent right now. But in general, I'll have third slot heroes in the first slot. It won't even matter. And they'll all be gathering in any whatever way so that I can max out my gathering day and have more or less even keel units. They're not designed to even protect themselves. So to hit me while I'm not designed, or hit anyone else for that matter, while they're not even trying, that's just stupid. And you, 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 well, I'm not going to call you names on YouTube, but y'all get it. Anyway, hopefully this information was remotely helpful, guys. Like and uh, subscribe if you can. And um, check out that comment section below, guys. If I miss something, if there's something else that you and your state particularly do, talk about it in the comment section below. If there's something else about NAP or an alternative to a safe zone that you want to discuss, you already know what to do. I don't need to keep harping on that, guys. Get in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Meanwhile, Acer Spades, Team BLA, I'm signing out.